Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. He couldn't be doing a workshop at a better time, folks. Bottom line, right after my show right now, Basil's going to be doing a workshop. It's going to go from 4 to 5.30 this afternoon for his subscribers. Now, you can be a subscriber right here, right now. And get Basil's going to be talking about sectors, stocks, major, coming off major 2023 lows, ready for uh, more action coming into 2024. Uh, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You can subscribe to Basil's News out of $149 for a month, $6.95 for six months, and $11.95 for a full year. And they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That will get you into this webinar, which is going to be starting at uh, 4 o'clock. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, this is quite a day, and it's <laughs> really important. Uh, you know, I spoke to you yesterday, and we were looking out and saying, you know, there are a lot of positives, and I was saying to you, on the very short term, I'm just a little concerned on the very short term. So this morning, based on the Chapman methodology and in the webinar, I'll be discussing this. Uh, but there are many other things that I want to go through. Um, look here in the Dow, this is a leg F. We hit uh, an all-time high. But that on-balance volume was extremely over, over, overbought. Uh, it's the, one of the few indicators that I actually use as an overbought or an oversold indicator. So in this particular instance, I usually don't talk about this immediately since uh, we've only just got the position, but I need to do it because it's active, it's live. Uh, we went short this morning, the SMHs, which have been absolutely on a fantastic tear. Um, and the reason is there were hints. The last three sessions, the Dow has been making new highs. SP is acting well. Qs are making highs. But that SMH started to stall and that on balance volume started to dip down. So we went short with, via the SOXS, that's three times short. I treated it as only a trading position, and it was only for just subscribers who really understand that in a market, you want to be able to have the conviction to be able to enjoy both the upside and the downside. You needn't be afraid of the downside, even if it's short term, this could change tomorrow. So we are very fortunate in the sense that uh, that SOX is actually up about seven or eight percent. Nice. Um, that's just you know that's from early this morning. Sure. Um, it means that at least we can uh, lower. The, we've already taken a little bit off. Uh, I always say that if you get a quick gain, you've got to do money management. Take a little bit off. I'm going to be discussing these things. I'm not saying this is the major top, but I think it's really important that. Having gone so overbought on a very short under the daily charts, this is a necessary breather. It's just really important. If we actually close at the high of today, that would have started to indicate to me that there's something wrong. And this is normal. I like what's happening right now. It takes a breather, had its fabulous move, needs a bit of a rest, you know, get a little medal for getting this far. Now you want to appreciate that there should be some kind of consolidation of the most recent gains. So I'll be talking about that because each sector is doing different things. And what I wanted to do actually, this webinar was going to be about was those fantastic, those stocks that in 2021 were screaming to the upside. And then in 22 down to 2023, some of them took 60, 80, even 90% declines. And then they had a fabulous run um, from the, the October 27th low. Now, are they ready for a bit of a pullback and then go on to new highs, recovery highs? Can they go back even to those old highs? That's the question that I want to try to answer this afternoon. So a lot of us, there's no rush in terms of getting into everything. We're just looking step by step what should happen, where the, the levels are that I would like to look at certain stocks that have always been on my favorite list. Maybe we haven't got them. Maybe they're even the stocks that we have that we would like to add to. So it's really timely in the fact that this, even though it's, <laughs> we're only, you know, what, a day or so below where we were three days ago or two days ago. Yeah, no, it's important. not even at the swing point. So we have the futures down 50, folks, okay? Correct. But it li and literally, I don't know what triggered the turnaround. But I, listen, I'm trying, I'm, we already. know it's just selling, right? Because there's nothing that I'm looking at right now. Well, that, taking the works, yeah. yeah. It's important. And, and as I say, breathing is it's just a natural, it's what we do as human beings. You've got to you run a race, you, you need a little bit of a breather. So I like this, and it's very important that we get these, because otherwise you never get a chance to get in. You just watch these things go up, and you shake your head and say, oh, no. This is nice. This is important. And I think that it's going to be very timely. I'm going through I'm going through a lot of stocks. I'm going through the usual 
stuff looking at shape and wave methodology, but that's good. I usually do on a weekend, I do an hour long overview. And in the hour long overview this Saturday, I'll do a follow up to what I'm doing today. Today I want to be looking at stocks. What are we looking at? Why are we looking at them? Do they have uh, the power to keep another move up? And the other thing is looking at the short side, I didn't have anything really. I mentioned yesterday uh, to subscribers, it's just the home world that, that are extremely overbought. How is this going to resolve itself? So uh, and folks, it's, it's a short term. Yeah. Yep. And it's very easy to get in Basil's webinar. It's going to start at 4 o'clock, 4 to 5.30. You just heard Basil's going to be an amazing webinar. He has a great newsletter, folks. Very easy. Come on over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. You can test drive it for 30 days. If it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you, no big deal. You get your money back. You're going to be in a great workshop. You're going to have a, a great newsletter. And on top of that, Basil has about another 10 archives that are out there that you can go through so you can understand the Chapman wave upside down. Basil, you have a great one. Stay fun. We look forward to listening at 4 o'clock. Looking forward to it. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.